G'day YouTube, it's Marty from Music Video Master. Is physical music media dead? Some would say yes in this age of streaming. But I went to Japan recently and from what I saw I can say that in Japan it is alive and well. Let me tell you all about it after this. Hi and welcome back to the channel where we believe that music is better on DVD. Recently I went on a holiday to Japan. I had an absolutely amazing time. I really love that country and I was so sad to come back. Now apart from having an amazing time sightseeing and eating over there, of course we put aside some time for shopping. And while the rest of my family were enjoying themselves at the department store, I only had one shop in mind that I wanted to go to and that was the record store. So when I was in Tokyo, I hunted down Tower Records in Shibuya. Now Tower Records Shibuya is like a candy store for music enthusiasts. Each level has a different genre. Of course, the J-pop and the K-pop floors were the most busy. Rock is up near the top and it was noticeably less busy than the other levels. There's also a level that's just for vinyl LPs. So of course I went straight to the rock section. At the time they were really pushing Oasis because as you might have already heard Oasis is getting back together for some tours soon and that's really great news. So anyway inside Tower Records they're blasting Oasis, there are racks and racks of CDs as far as the eye can see with all different kinds of rock represented and there's even a secondhand section where all the CDs are used but still in basically mint condition. Personally I don't really collect CDs, my main priority is DVDs. Now if I were a CD collector there is absolutely no way that I could have walked out of that shop without an empty wallet. Unfortunately for me there wasn't a lot of stuff there that I was really interested in buying but I still came away with a couple of secondhand CDs. First of all I got a copy of David Gilmour's solo album On An Island and of course I wanted to get the Japanese edition with the Obi strip but I probably won't hold on to this one. I think I'm going to resell it on eBay just because I do already have this album in surround sound. I also walked out of Tower Records with a copy of Primus, Sailing the Seas of Cheese. And again, I wanted one with the Obi strip. CDs in Japan are kind of expensive, even for used CDs. But I can tell you that the condition is nearly mint. They don't sell crappy, scratched up, ripped CDs in Japan. Everything is in basically pristine condition so it's perfect if you're into collecting. I didn't really have a chance to do much more music shopping in Tokyo but then I went to Osaka where I had a little bit more time to look around. In Osaka I also went to Tower Records, this time to the Namba Parks branch. The Namba Parks branch of Tower Records is much smaller. It's got everything combined in just one level and they don't have a dedicated used CD section. Again, I didn't see a whole lot in the shop that I really wanted to buy but I thought that it would be a shame to walk out of there empty handed. So I did walk out of there with a copy of Pink Floyd Animals, the 2022 remix. And the only difference between this one and the 2018 remix, which came out just a few years before, is that the newer version has a Dolby Atmos mix, whereas the older one only has surround sound. They had it for just 50,000 yen, roughly 50 Australian dollars, which is much cheaper than I could get it in Australia, so I decided it would be worth getting. And it brought back so many memories to see these things. Yes, in Tower Records they still have the CD sampling station where you put on the headphones and you can select a few of the popular albums of the week and listen to them on the spot. I literally have not seen these things in Australia for decades. And one more thing that I couldn't resist buying when I was in Tower Records is these CD sleeves. And this packet just cost me 330 yen for 20 sleeves. They're very handy for those cardboard sleeves where the CD just goes straight inside. 
but it doesn't have a lot of protection. It kind of rubs against the cardboard and can get scratched. So what you do is you put your CD in this little vinyl slip, which is kind of like a, you know, an LP protector. And then that goes inside the cardboard sleeve and protects the CD from scratches. On the way to Tower Records in Number Parks, one of the record stores that I stumbled upon along the way is called Soundpack. This was a really nice store. It was kind of small, but it had really great stuff in it. Again, the store mostly had CDs and also these strange things which I've never seen before and I don't know how they play. If you know what these are, please let me know in the comments. Soundpack also had a good range of DVDs and so I ended up buying a couple of secondhand DVDs, again in mint condition from this shop Soundpack. One of them here is Dream Theatre, Metropolis 2000, Scenes from New York. This is a live concert that I haven't even seen yet, but I know that it's going to be awesome. And I also walked out of Soundpack with a copy of King Crimson, Deja Vroom, another cool concert which I haven't seen yet, but I'm looking forward to. A little further down the road, I came across another secondhand music store called Record One. Now this shop was a little bit bigger. It had a whole back section with extra stock in it, and it had the best selection of rock that I have seen in Japan. I saw so many titles that I never knew existed from artists that I love. After that, I found yet another secondhand music shop called Mint Record. And in that shop, I found a copy of Nirvana's CD singles box set. It's right up here on the shelf. Let me get it down. So this one here, I bought it for about 15,000 yen, which is about 15, Australian dollars roughly and there are six individual CDs inside the box. Again I'm not a big CD collector but I thought it was a good bargain and I don't mind buying CD box sets like this so I'm happy to add that to the collection. A few days later I was kicking around near Namba Station in a slightly different area and I stumbled upon another branch of Mint Records and in this shop, I picked up a copy of an Eagles CD box set. Again, it's up here on the shelf. So this one is the Eagles studio albums, 1972 to 1979. I didn't pay very much for this. I think it was about 18,000 yen. And the CDs are in mint condition as are all of the secondhand CDs that I've seen in my travels in Japan. If you're ever in the Osaka area, please hunt down these music shops. You will have a really great time looking through them. Okay guys, that's it. Thanks for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please like and subscribe and tell me in the comments, what's the state of physical music media where you're from? Do you have big established music stores like Tower Records? Are the secondhand music shops doing well in your area? Let's start a conversation. So thanks again for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you in the next one. Until then, please make some time to enjoy watching your music. See ya.